what's going on youtube it's your boy ron back with another video before we get started please like comment subscribe all that good jazz today i am going to be reacting to a content creator by the name of the filipina p who's from the philippines and she um discovered this space you guys she discovered the, the rp and what she's noticing is more men of western culture coming to her country to find wives um because she understands that the western women well they aren't quite fit to be wives so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump into it hi folks the filipina bee here telling it like it is when i first started my channel i did a lot of research for my feminism video and i ran across an interesting viewpoint held by many western men that quite frankly I mostly agree with. It's not so much a movement as it is a lifestyle choice, but since Western media seems determined to ignore them, or worse, I'd like to share what I learned about MGTOW, men going their own way. Now I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of this wrong, but you guys can correct me, and I'm sure you will. The reason I find these men interesting is that, in many ways, they seem like natural allies to us Filipinas and women of other Asian countries. And because there are so many of them showing up on our shores and in my comment section, I thought it would be interesting to discuss just who they are and what they have to say. For those of you unfamiliar with the analogy of the red pill, it's a reference from the movie The Matrix, where Neo is offered the choice between living in blissful ignorance by taking the blue pill or seeing the ugly reality by taking the red. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. MGTOWs have of course chosen the red, but what does that actually mean? What reality do they think they see that the men around them refuse to admit? Well, according to the MGTOWs, you Western men have been sold a lie. You were raised to believe a Disney fantasy. Work hard, be a good man, treat your wife well, have children, retire in your golden age and enjoy what you've earned. That's the way it should have been. It's what your parents and society told you it would be if you were just a good husband and provider. But as you got older, you saw the glitches in the matrix you became aware that something was rotten in Denmark and every other Western culture, where women seem to be going way beyond the desire for equality, which is a just and noble goal. But the women in your culture became loud, vulgar, aggressive, physically unattractive, and you notice it from the sidelines of your life, comfortable in the belief that it didn't really affect you because you, maybe you were already married and settled. But then, something happened to your own relationship, and you got a bitter taste of the new reality. Maybe your kids were taken away, your bank accounts destroyed by lawyers and greedy exes. And when you finally recovered from all that, you realized that the world you thought you lived in was now cold and barren. Your women no longer value or respect you because big government has replaced you. Instead of being the hero, somehow you're now the villain. Man, can we get this woman a round of applause, please? Like, I, I, I had to stop her, man, for the sake of, you know, trying to keep it a, original, man. But she, she, whoo, man, that's a lot to unpack because she just dropped some, some gem. Um, yes. So she's 100% correct. Um, I know this is something that I've always, um, always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. People who make fun of MGTOW guys. Let me tell you something. From based on what I can see in the in the research that I've done, a lot of these MGTOW guys are got are guys that've been screwed over in divorce. You know what I mean? And they see they see the game is rigged and they don't want to play anymore. And yeah. 
for those guys, if any of you, if any of you guys are on my channel and you're in that boat, let me tell you, I 1000% don't blame you for taking that route. I really don't. Me on the other hand, I'm not in that boat. I want to have a family. It's one of the things why I, res I respond and react to content such as hers because this is probably the highest probability of any man in Western society to start in a family because the women in the West, they're just not raised to be wives anymore. They're raised to be independent. They're raised to put themselves first and not family first. Meanwhile, men are still being told to put family first. Men are still, be, still being told that we have to provide. Men are still being told that we have to be good to our wives and put them first. But yet we don't get these things reciprocated back to us in the West. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that that the average earner can be with a a woman, a, a foreign woman and get treated like a king? But you, you're in the West as an average earner and you get treated damn near like you homeless. It's like, I will never understand this dynamic. It's like, has the West become so oversaturated, so well off that everything is just about material things? Like, it's not about who the person is as a character. Or his character is about what is literally about what he provides, about what he can give you from a tangible standpoint. And, that, and that's the issue that I see in the West. So to see somebody all the way across the other side of the pond that can see the same thing just based off of the, you know, what she's seeing in, a, in her comment section says a lot. So without further, we we'll don't go ahead and jump back into to you. it. And you see absolutely no benefit from it. You're angry, and rightly so. But understanding the reality has resulted in several distinct philosophies. Now I don't mean to be disrespectful, but there seems to be a segment of the MGTOW population that has become completely anti-female, who view all women with suspicion and don't seem to care much about the way they interact with the opposite sex. While I can understand how their experiences have left them feeling this way, I don't agree with their views or actions. The term AWOL, which means all women are like that, only applies in a broad sense. I feel your pain, but not all women are out to separate you from your money. Not all of us are lying scammers, and not all of us are your enemies. Now this, I, I, I will agree with her on, man. I mean, even in the West, all women are not like that. However, <laughs> unless you've been living under a rock, you can definitely say that there's more than enough to raise suspicion and have a discussion about it. I'm going to just leave that there. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments on that one. If you're just here Let's in the continue. Philippines as a pickup artist, or to get revenge on the women here for how you were treated back home, or to use my country as a playground for your sexual escapades, and don't care who you hurt along the way, I have no sympathy for you, and you're not my friends. And let me just say this, man. If there's anybody doing that, man, like you, you screwed up in the head, man. If you're going to do that, do that in the States. Like, don't do that to the women over there, man. You know what I mean? I'm like, because I'm like, like, the like, like, last thing we need is people ruining for other people that actually want to be husbands and have wives and have families. So please don't, don't do that. That's. Come on, man. If y'all gonna do that, do that here, please. If y'all gonna, if y'all gonna do that, do that to the women in in, in the West, man. 
Cause they, I'm like, cause they all, I'm like, cause they all, they all, they treat us like we disposable here anyway. So if y'all gonna do that, do that to the women here. Don't do that to the women over there. Damn, what the hell wrong with y'all? If, however, you're one of those men that's reassessed his options, but hasn't given up on women altogether, then let me refer back to the statement I made earlier. It seems to me that MGTOWs and other red-pilled men might be the natural allies of us Filipinas because in many cases, we're the exact opposite of the very things you detest. I have a feeling that might be one of the reasons there are so many of you here. When you look at us, you see an Asian version of the women in your own countries from 50 years ago. And in many ways, you're right. So what is it about Filipinas that you find so appealing? Why are we considered by many to be such a desirable catch? Well, let me take a minute to tell you some of the ways we are different from what you're used to. The things that make me proud to be a Filipina. If you're lucky enough to find yourself in a relationship with a quality Filipina, and yes, there are many of us, here are some things you can expect. We're feminine. We take care of ourselves and try to look like women. Even if we're completely broke, somehow we find a way to wear dresses and style our hair in an attractive way. We're frugal. Generally speaking, a Filipina won't go on extravagant shopping sprees even if we have the means. The dress I'm wearing? 100 pesos. $2. We're not used to having much money anyway, and mostly all we worry about are basic needs. It really doesn't take much for us to feel safe and happy. We can cook and know how to take care of a household. Unlike the dying art of cooking in much of the Western world, give a Filipina just a few simple ingredients and she'll cook you something that will leave you full and satisfied. I'm happy to say that I'm a pretty darn good cook myself. We make great companions. Most of Filipinas I know would be happy just to spend their time with their mates, sharing the passage of time as a couple, not as two people who happen to have the same address. We're patient, we don't nag much, and we actually care about your opinion. Doesn't that sound refreshing for a change? Round of applause for the Filipina P, please. Please, please, please. Man, listen. Um, don't that sound good? Yeah. The fact, the, 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 the frugal, the frugal with money part is what really like made my, pin my ears up. Cause I'm thinking to myself, you only paid $2 for that dress? And with all due respect, you look damn good in it. <laughs> if she happens to watch this. I mean, I mean, let's keep it a buck, man. P, I mean, P is an attractive girl, all right? My, and then cook, yeah. take care of the household, yeah. don't nag much, yeah. just let you do your work, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Let your voice be heard. Ain't yeah. trying to nag and over talk you like the women in the West do. Yeah. They don't. They ain't trying to fight with you to be in the spotlight. They. Yeah. They happy just spending time with you. Like look at the zoom, the zoom to Thailand reaction videos on my channel, you guys. This, Richie Mac has a woman that literally just loves being in in his presence, like. And she just does things that he's interested in. And he's a simple man and he out there living his living his best life in peace. And still getting hated for. It don't make no sense. It's gonna be a lot more hating going around, man, because you're starting to see more women like Pete popping up. You know what I'm saying? Letting them know, like, hey, it's better options over here. Y'all better come get us. For real. And y'all see what P looking like, bro. Like P P is an attractive girl. Y'all better stop playing. These women better stop playing in the West for real. Like especially when they frugal with the money too, because you know how materialistic the women in the West are. 
I'm just saying, bro. It, it, it's that sounds like a better option to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. We're gonna continue. And maybe the best trait of all, we're not consumed by careers and the desire for personal recognition. We tend to have simple goals and we're happy just being who we are. If you find a good one, Filipinas can be among the most loyal women in the world and we know how to keep our man happy. Isn't that worth taking a closer look at? Even if it means totally restructuring your life and coming to a strange land with a strange culture? And you know what? Um, shout out to um, MT, man, uh, one master teacher. He um, said, if, if any of y'all follow to him, uh, subscribe to his channel, get hip to him. Uh, he said that between Latin women and Asian women, if he had to choose, if like if you really want a wife, like like on like, like you know like he said you definitely want to go Asian. I think he said preferably Philippine, Filipina more so than Thailand. Um, I think I heard the same thing from another content creator as well, man. My, I definitely want to start reacting to more um, content creators that are overseas so that way I can get a better perspective for myself and for the viewers. Like, hey, you know, if y'all if y'all are ever thinking about taking this as an option because it's starting to become more of a thing and I'm a, and in the future I'm going to do a video on what, what I expect the future of dating to look like in the next five to ten years because I think traveling overseas to find a wife is going to become far more common and far less taboo in the future. I really, really do, man. Because there's a lot of other things going on in the works, man. Like, um, I just heard something earlier today about um, men are going to be able to um, have birth control. So, like, in other words, we'll be able to be, a, we'll be, able to be on a pill and be sterile and just shoot blanks. So you know what that means? No more baby trapping uh, for these females. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into it, back into it. I we guess all, you have to ask here, yourself, what is it you want out of life? What's important to you? What would make you happy? And that brings us back around to the MGTOWs. Just for fun, try Googling M-G-T-O-W. The very first search result brands these men as a misogynistic, anti-feminist group tied to white supremacists and the alt-right. In my opinion, that's absolutely ridiculous. From what I can tell, MGTOWs are just men who refuse to play the game in a system rigged against them. They rather work on themselves as individuals and find enlightenment through self-improvement. They're not even a group. There are no protests, no demonstrations, no apparent organization. Just individual guys who see through the smoke and the mirrors of the Truman Show they were living in. Ooh, shots fired. Wow. Great analogy, P. I like that. Because that... <laughs> That's the perfect way to describe it. Truman Show. Real talk. You you couldn't have word that. I mean, outside of the obvious analogy that we use, which is the Matrix. But yeah, that's a Now, most MGTOWs great analogy, would great rather analogy. be boiled in oil than ever consider marriage. And many of them don't even believe in long-term relationships. But some of them still entertain it as a possibility if the right conditions were met. And it's those men I'd like to address as I close. To them, I would say, think about the reasons why you became a MGTOW and then look closely at the women and culture here. Now answer this one question honestly. If the women in your country were like the more traditional women here, would you ever have become a MGTOW? No, you don't need a woman to complete you. And you don't ever need to put your assets at risk again. But maybe, just maybe, life here still resembles the way things were supposed to be before everything went to hell back home. Just food for thought. After all, 
You're on my channel for a reason, right? Well, that's all for today, folks. But as always, I'm working on something new I think you'll enjoy. So stay tuned. Till next time. All right. So, final thoughts on the video, man. Um, yeah. She hit the nail on the head, man. Um, shout out to the Filipina P. Um, she has dope content, man. Um, she She's all over the place. She does interviews with other Filipina women. Attractive women, actually, who want to be with foreign men um and you know she goes over the differences between cultures how it is over there compared to over here you know not just with the women but with the culture and way of living and all that um you know i just want to say this and i'm gonna go ahead and end it What you got to recognize is that in the West, we are so far gone that a guy that decides that, you know what, I want more of a traditional way of doing things is frowned upon now. So if you want, if you say you want that, the likelihood of you finding that in the States are very, very, very slim. And you get shunned for it. So then when you decide, well, okay, well, I'm going to go overseas and do it. Then you getting it even worse because then you get haters like, 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 like Richie Mac, like Richie Mac is, which I find ridiculous. Like I, 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 I just don't get it. And he, and he was married in the States, had a nasty divorce, but now he's over there being treated like a king and he's living stress free stress free I don't sometimes I just wonder it's like do the women over here they would rather see us unhappy and putting up with them as a way of proving ourselves and showing our love to them versus going overseas and being treated with respect the kind of respect that we want to be treated with here because at the end of the day man regardless of whether you dealing with a woman here or overseas we don't ask for much as men and it seems like the women overseas to seem to get it mainly because they're raised that way while well, i was over here it's all about being independent and they don't need no man but they want one them like they don't want one till they need one and you know it's just all over the place man so my my advice for guys if you really want that traditional situation man the likelihood of you finding it over here is slim to none you're probably gonna have to get your passport start traveling now whether you want to bring them back here it's up to you. I, I got. I have people come in the comments all the time saying it's not a good idea. I've heard some people. I've seen some people in the comments do do it, and they've come back and they're happy as ever. So I guess it just depends on the female, and it probably just depends on geography. Like if you stay in a big city like Miami or Chicago or New York or L.A., and you're trying to bring that woman back here, yeah, it's probably gonna probably gonna have a hard time trying to make her resist that hypergamy if you stay somewhere in a like a smaller area like i do um you're probably probably gonna be better off um because i know a few people who say they've done it and they're having successful marriages so that's what i want to see that's what i want to hear and that's what i want for myself that's what i want for the viewers that are watching and I just want that for the world period man because i don't like where where we're going and the nuclear family is what really really drives the economy and everything else all right 
that's all for this video again please like comment subscribe all that good jazz um for my recent um you know new subs i just want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart man for subscribing um and for the guys that are critiquing hey i appreciate it hey i'm never too big to take any kind of critiques from anybody because at the end of the day that's how you get better all right so i don't want anybody like you know clashing in the comments you know what i mean at the end of the day you know i'm gonna do things my way but at the same time i'm always gonna take consideration from the viewers because at the end of the day i'm doing it for y'all so again you know what i mean any critiques anything at all you know what i mean any ideas please let me know I'll, i'm always taking everything into consideration all right so again please like comment subscribe all that good jazz catch y'all in the next video deuces